I am Gyohei Kakiuchi from uh, JSK Labo. It's a uh, Inaba laboratory of University of Tokyo. Today, I will talk about the operation of humanoid uh, robot with whole body motion for the object manipulation. This is today's talk. Uh, we used um, some master devices to operate humanoid robot. Master device is a uh, uh, graphical user interface, mannequin device, VR device, and now currently uh, we uh, develop the exoskeleton type of uh, bilateral devices. And each device has different input command layers. So target tasks, selections, and uh, non-real time target pose command, and uh, real time pose command, and torque and force command. Control method on the robot side is also different in the static balance. Robot has a static balance on the dynamic balance and the dynamic filter for the uh, compensate the uh, human command. And, and we have to combine the, this robot motion with uh, recognition and uh, we're passing the information from the uh, robot to the operator. And Let's start with the uh, GUI uh, devices for the uh, DRC. And it this is a graphical interface. Uh, I will talk about the uh, human teleoperation using the graphical interface. This is used for the DARPA robotics challenge finals uh, again. And so it's a non real time uh, command sending and Operate for the fixed command, fixed tasks, and uh, we use uh, several input devices. And keep, uh, we build the. Uh, this is for a non-real time command to the robot. Is for previously known fixed tasks. So we build the system for sharing the autonomous robot behavior and operator's modification command. This is the DAPA Robotics Challenge Finals, and uh, robot performs eight tasks and the limitation of communication bandwidths between operators and robot. And uh, this is the same same of the uh, uh, before presentation. So we pass through the and that. Uh, so we adapt the data compression for the communication between operator and robot because of limitation of communication can do real-time feedback, such like operator changing a behavior depend on vision and the robot sensors. So we send a simple command to the robot. By the operator, uh, decisions depend on the vision and the sensor values already got. This is our system of configurable autonomy. And uh, this is a uh, manual uh, way of the uh, task uh, task doing. This is a manual configuration. Uh, this is a full manual configuration, and here is uh, autonomous uh, robot behavior, and uh, this is a full autonomous robot behavior. But uh, we change the depend on the situation, the manual uh, operation and the autonomous behavior. So. For each task, we adapt the method sharing autonomous robot behavior and the manual operator's adjustment. The uh, figure shows configurable autonomy done. So we divide the task, uh, we divide the task of the each phases. This is the object recognition, and uh, this is the uh, standing position, and uh, this is the motion generation. And uh, each, uh, each phase has a uh, uh, manual way and uh, autonomous way. So operators can select the uh, uh, manual way and the autonomous way of each phase on each pages. So this is the uh, uh, flow of the uh, uh, task operation, uh, operating a task. And uh, this is a visual data uh, uh, robot sensing. So here is a... Uh, uh, Recognition result, and uh, it can be uh, modified by the uh, operators. And uh, here is a kinematics uh, 
motion. Uh, here is a uh, uh, robot standing position, and uh, it's auto auto. Uh, uh, it can be uh, calculated by autonomously, but the uh, uh, operator changes the uh, position of the robot. So after that, uh, solving the uh, uh, inverse schematics and uh, making a motion. So finally, uh, operators uh, verify the all operation uh, motions, and after that, uh, robot uh, do the uh, tasks. Uh, this is a sample of the uh, hinted uh, recognition. Uh, operator uh, selects the, uh, a type of the recognition. Uh, here is a bulb recognition, and uh, uh, operator uh, make a rectangle to hinted uh, a bulb position, a bulb, uh, estimated bulb position. So. Uh, using uh, this uh, hint rectangle and uh, uh, recognition of doing uh, uh, can do the uh, 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 can limit uh, using a limited ROI. So it is a uh, 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 way of uh, shared autonomy, autonomy uh, recognition ways. Here is a uh, 2D uh, interface of the uh, operating system, and uh, this is uh, uh, selecting the tasks, uh, task buttons, and uh, here is the image button, and uh, this is the uh, uh, execution buttons. And uh, next is a 3D, uh, 3D uh, graphical user interface, and uh, this is a uh, uh, robot robot marker and uh, planned robot marker and recognize the target marker. Uh, operators can change the recognize the result for the uh, fitting the uh, uh, environmental uh, 3D point cloud. This is the actual operating scene of the DRC finals and we uh, there are three people, uh, three operators for the uh, operate the robot, and uh, each uh, each people uh, see the uh, each uh, graphical user interface and uh, sensor visualizer. So we use the uh, input uh, normal input devices as the keyboard and the uh, uh, gamepad and 3D mouse, and uh, uh, this is a MIDI device for the inputting the analog values for the uh, modification. Uh, this is uh, using the uh, uh, MIDI device. Uh, they can change the position and the uh, size uh, by using the 3D mouse and the uh, MIDI device. So It is a manual way of the uh, making the uh, uh, recognition result. After the, uh, after the uh, bulb models was created, a robot can uh, generate the uh, motion planning. Here is a full manual uh, way of the creating the motion. So. Operators uh, select the how to, uh, which is using the, uh, for operating the tasks. Okay, uh, this video shows uh, uh, operating humanoid with the expired uh, user interface. Operator can change the humanoid uh, uh, standing position and the generate the planning motion.
operator can change the uh, uh, recognized uh, method depending on the uh, tasks. So robots do the several tasks, opening the doors and uh, opening the bulbs and grasping the debris and uh, uh, connecting the plug. This is the same uh, 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 using a graphical user interface and, uh, for the uh, footstep planning. This is just for the uh, simulation, but the same interface used for the uh, uh, robot footstep planning. So in the interface, uh, send the uh, uh, target of the robot position and the uh, footstep planner plan the uh, uh, steps. So it's the uh, operating the robot, uh, operating the uh, robot using the uh, graphical user interface. This is a real uh, tele operating the uh, robot from the another rooms. And uh, this is the uh, uh, operator viewer and operator uh, sees the uh, uh, 2D images and a 3D uh, point cloud and uh, making the uh, steps for the robot. So robot do the uh, steps from the uh, uh, operator's command. So this is a creating a map of inside the building uh, by working the humanoid, and the robot has commanded uh, using a footstep planner uh, in remote location. The operator created command uh, only using the sensor image. So finally, a uh, robot walked around the corridor and came to uh, started location and while generating a map of building. Okay, uh, next I will talk about the mannequin device, uh, send the uh, robot, uh, send the robot, uh, send the target pose to the robot. Uh, I will explain about mannequin device for operating a human robot. This method is using a small, small robot uh, which can sense that its joint angles and then sending the same joint angles to the humanoid robot, sending the robot, and it is suitable for making a whole body motion because it can directly change the uh, concerned joint without inverse kinematics. So, uh, but it also can feedback torque, but it is difficult to operate mannequin quickly, so this is not suitable for the real-time feedback. This is a video for using the mannequin device. Uh, this is, a, uh, here is a mannequin device, and uh, this is a operated a robot. Uh, this is an operator, but uh, not using the uh, robot vision, but directly seeing the uh, situation. But the uh, uh, operator uh, operates a small robot, and uh, whole body human robot uh, doing the task. Uh, this is uh, currently doing the uh, method. Um, so uh, we will present uh, details in, uh, uh, for the future. Next is a VR device. Uh, next topic is using a VR device for the human teleoperation. The 
VR device consists of uh, motion trackers and uh, head mount display, which also is tracking. And motion trackers were updated real time ports uh, compared to uh, GUI and mannequin device. So real time motion feedback by looking at the robot and the environment with uh, head mount displays. But uh, this is difficult to feedback force and contact information to the operator. Now we created the uh, uh, system for the feedback, the uh, joint torque and the joint uh, uh, position with the vibration. So operators can uh, feel the uh, 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 high high fault and uh, uh, joint limit by the vibration. So this is an uh, example of the, this uh, method. Uh, operator picking the uh, pen on the table and uh, put the pen on the uh, cups. Next is the uh, example of the uh, humanoid robot, a full body humanoid robot. And uh, here is a uh, sensor data orientation to the rear uh, cameras. So it shows the uh, uh, joint fault and uh, force sensors. So I would like to use the sensor values visualization and feedback to the operator and it enabled to change the motion depend on the force contact without uh, direct uh, force contact feedback. Uh, next is a uh, uh, demonstration for controlling the uh, uh, teleoperating using the VR device. Um, uh, using a VR device, uh, difficult to use the uh, internal force like the, uh, using the uh, tools. But uh, we use the uh, 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 impedance control for the hand, so uh, it is uh, sort of the internal force. Uh, Next, I will talk about the uh, whole body teleoperation of the humanoid robot. First, uh, our motivation is moving a human robot as our moving, and uh, how remote robot on dynamic motion such as human doings. So, but uh, conventional studies about uh, whole body master slave uh, humanoid is enough for dynamic motions. Uh, conventionally, many studies work worked only on the arm or upper body of the robot, or if some cases worked on the whole body, the motion was limited to be quasi static. Because mass parameter are differs between the robot and the operator, the robot can perform exactly the same motion of the robot or uh, the uh, operator, especially in the online uh, online real-time case, pre-planning and predictive control approach cannot be applied. So furthermore, in the master-slave control with a human operator, uh, the robot can easily fall down with the operator's uncertain operate. So our main goal is to achieve valid and dynamic whole body master-slave control. Our main idea is filtering the uh, human input motion into the safe robot motions, which focusing uh, those indicators inside uh, certain safe regions. We got a position from uh, the operators with the HCC pipe uh, tracker set. They are feet and hand and head 
and humans come for moving the comb independent with the end effector's positions and process those uh, input trajectories with our proposed method in real time. Here is a filter. So the filter reference human posture trajectories are passed to the uh, inverse kinematic solvers and converted into robot reference joint angles. This is uh, using the uh, uh, VR uh, systems. We showed some uh, application of a master slave system. Uh, as is in this video, we can easily control the robot and pick up the target with hand and carry it away with the feet. There is no force feedback to the operator, uh, so please note that the advantage <laughs> of our system <laughs> is we can control the hand and the feet at the same time and, and complete the task more rapidly and smoothly. This is a playing case. Uh, we aim to improve the uh, robot reaction, uh, speed up the ball with using the dynamic comb movement and the footwork. Currently, this is the maximum reaction speed of our system. But we can see the robot can react uh, instantaneously with its arm and leg. And we could ex expand uh, the work workspace of the hand manipulator. Uh, this shows the uh, effect of the uh, moving the comb and the torque. This is, a, this is a fixed uh, and a comb, and this is a fixed uh, foot, footwork. And this is a uh, free comb and free footwork. Using the uh, free comb and free footwork, uh, it is, this is a tennis a swing experiment with a, a full tele-operated uh, motion using the uh, head mount display. Next is a kicking a target. Uh, And next is a punching and kicking the target. Uh, finally, uh, we currently build the exoskeleton bilateral devices. Currently, we build a whole body exoskeleton bilateral devices uh, like, like here, and uh, it's just a uh, development, and uh, it is enabled to update the end effector pose in real time and the force torque feedback to the operator, and just testing now, and may publish uh, next year. And uh, we tested and uh, uh, upper body motion and uh, we tested on the uh, step motion using the uh, bilateral device, but uh, it is not published. So this is a conclusion of the, uh, uh, our presentation. Uh, we use uh, uh, a graphical user interface and the mannequin device, VR device, and the exoskeleton device, bilateral devices for the uh, human operation. Thank you for listening.